Hey, what's up guys? Kaiju Lu here, and welcome to another edition of the Super Game Strikers Rants, where today I will be ranting about Resident Evil 7, the next installment to the 20 years survival horror franchise from Capcom, set to be released on, I believe, January 24th of 2017. Ah, uh, but man, oh man, where do I even begin? Well... I guess I can start at what happened over a week or two ago at a little event called E3, where on its first night, uh, Monday of E3 week, Sony had its presentation, and I gotta say, whether uh, you people out there respectfully agree with me or not, I, I honestly think Sony stole the whole show at E3. Just because of all the shocking surprises that happened there, I, I swear, such as um, Crash Bandicoot returning from Skylanders and an HD remaster collection of the first three Crash Bandicoot games, as well as hopefully a, a brand new title of Crash Bandicoot will sometime uh, show up in the near future or is currently in the works. Who knows? Who knows, man? <laughs> Um, Hideo Kojima returning with Norman Reedus in their new game, which sadly is in Silent Hills, but is uh, Death Stranding, which is also um, an equally intriguing game in my opinion. Um, also, <laughs> just the other day, uh, Sega Sean posted this meme to me where some guy, I think, tweeted to uh, Hideo Kojima or messaged him. Um, pretty much like making fun of the the game the game's title with uh the trailer of norman reedus and that mysterious baby and someone uh, i think sean said messaged uh hideo where it said uh someone titled the game as norman reedus and the funky fetus <laughs> i'm sorry that is that that name is just gold that is that is just hilariously good i i i don't know well, anyway, um, there's that, as well as Insomniac making a, st a standalone Spider-Man game that is exclusive to PS4, um, The Last Guardian finally getting a release date, as well as a new God of War game, and so much more. I swear, like, these reasons should be reason enough as to why I think, you know, this was, this, this whole thing was Sony's E3. <laughs> Uh, no disrespect to Microsoft or Nintendo, I, I just gotta say, you know, Sony blew the roof off of this thing. Um, but then, then there came, uh, a reveal trailer for Resident Evil 7. And, uh, gotta be honest here, <laughs> never in all my years of playing video games, well, I'm sure this has happened before, you know, this isn't the first time, but at least to me, in all my years of playing video games, I have never seen such a game uh, like this, where, especially an old classic game, you know, a long time, a long time uh, franchise name like Resident Evil, um, where they bring in a new game and the fans are so divided on how they feel about it. I mean, completely divided, like Civil War type, <laughs> type divided, you know? It is like, honestly, 50-50 about how people feel about the game and how some people are on board with it, some people are not, some people have their reasons, others are extremely hyped. And uh, I should know because, uh, you know, like Pandamare, for example, longtime Resident Evil fan like, like me, um, She's been waiting for this for a long time, but when she saw the trailer, she was like, uh, she wasn't, she, she, she wasn't really hating on it. Hey, Panda Mare. <laughs> um, but she, she was not as enthused or not as hyped as some people were when they, uh, first showed, uh, the trailer for Resident Evil 7. But, uh, 
But yeah, um, just the other day, uh, Sega Sean, uh, during our E3 podcast, I believe, yeah, when we when we uh, did our coverage about everything that happened at E3 or for everything for the most part, um, Sega Sean asked me straight up, Kaiju Lu, what do you think of uh, Resident Evil Seven? Um, are you on board with it? Is it yay or nay or or what? And uh, and like I said, I only said one thing. I only I only said one thing, only during that uh, that that whole uh, podcast about Resident Evil Seven. Because I was like, if you guys want to hear the rest or my reasons, please check out this rant, which I'm doing right now. <laughs> and uh, here we are. I, like I said before, um, as a longtime Resident Evil fan, playing the game since the very beginning and been sticking by it since. I honestly have to say that I am completely 100% on board and 100% hyped for this game. And I know, dun dun dun, uh, you, some people out there are like, whoa, Kaiju Lu's a long time Resident Evil fan. How can you be hyped about this game or 100% on board with it? You know, well, at least, you know, the people who know me. Like I said, being a longtime Resident Evil fan, uh, here here are pretty much some of my some of my reasons as to why, or you know, as to argue my points. Um, first reason, I'm really excited about this because, well, number one, I think for the first time ever in a really 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 long time. <laughs> Capcom has finally, finally listened to the fans on what they want. And, uh, you know, because people, be careful what you wish for, because it, it might come true. It might just come true. Um, after, you know, after with the, the wonderful game that came out called Resident Evil 6, and the travesty that it was to some people... Um, people have been demanding, demanding from Capcom that for the next Resident Evil game, bring it back to horror, make it back to, you know, take it back to its roots as to what Resident Evil originally was and is meant to be, a survival horror game as Resident Evil, um, well known by all as one of the pioneers in the gaming industry for the survival horror genre and um you you asked for it you got it and um <laughs> because even capcom announced way before e3 in the reveal trailer that resident evil 7 is going to be a straight up survival horror game they're taking it back to its roots um they're making they're taking it back um to what it once was but pretty much to this modern era of video games and um but now <laughs> i i you know i was happy about it. a lot of people are happy about it but now you know uh i i just <laughs> because now when people finally get what they wanted everyone's complaining about it now i mean like first of all <laughs> It, it's back it's it's Resident Evil 6 all over again. It's like when Resident Evil 6 came out, um people already people okay back then and were bitching and complaining about that. Oh no, Resident Evil 6 sucks. It's it's too much action. It's too actiony. This is not what Resident Evil is supposed to be. Ah, ah. And then okay, then when Resident Evil 7 came out with its reveal trailer, everyone is saying, oh, 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 everyone bitching and complaining on the internet, just like Resident Evil 6, oh, oh no, no, it's too much horror, it's too horror, horror-y, I don't know, <laughs> oh, it's too much horror, 6 is too much, a 6 is too much action, now 7 is too much horror, I mean, I gotta say, come on, no offense to everyone out there, but Come on, make up your fucking minds already, people, on what you want your game to be, you know? Um, first, you guys didn't like it for the action. Now, you don't, you, you don't like it for the horror, or it's too much horror, so make up your minds already. What do you guys want? <laughs> 
Uh, it's just one of those things where people, no matter what you do for the fans or what you do for the people, they're never going to be happy. They're never going to be satisfied or completely content with what is for what is shown or something as it is. And uh, besides that, too, of course, people are complaining about how they see Resident Evil 7 and, you know, when they first see it, they're like, oh, it doesn't look like a Resident Evil game. It looks like Silent Hills. It looks like Outlast. Hell, it even looks like an indie, one of those indie horror games, like the Slender Man games or whatever. And, um, yeah, <laughs> I, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I mean, at first when I saw the trailer or like the beginning of it, that little segment for Resident Evil 7, I had no idea it was Resident Evil 7. You know, you could, you know, if I had to guess for a million years, I would never have guessed that that was a Resident, that that was Resident Evil 7. That, that was Resident Evil game. Because I'll be honest, I thought it was Silent Hills. I, I thought it was a new Silent Hill game, or at least a separate horror game. But at the end, when I saw the title with that, that glory, with, which, I, which by the way, the Resident Evil 7 logo, you fans gotta admit, whether you're on board with Resident Evil 7 or not, you gotta admit that's a great logo. <laughs> that's 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 such a nice looking logo, and it beats the hell out of that Resident Evil 6 giraffe blowjob logo. <laughs> if you guys know what I mean, and I'm sure all of you fans know what I mean, because all those jokes uh, went on to no end about about that six logo. But uh, but uh, yeah, you know, the, at least in terms of logos. The 7, by far, beats the hell out of the, the 6 logo. <laughs> and, um... Uh, what was I talking about? Sorry, I don't mean to sound sidetracked. But, yeah, I mean... As far as it being... First... Pr I, I mean, okay. As far as the game being uh, first person... I honestly don't really have much of a of a problem with that. I mean, of course I was hesitant at first because, um, you know, I'm not the biggest fan in the world for first-person shooters, but, I, I mean, I gotta admit, it, it all changed for me. It all changed for me once I decided to play the demo the very next day because, as you guys know, the demo for that game was released for the PS4 on the very same night after E3, and I tried it out the, the very next day. Because, I'll be honest, at first, when I saw the, the trailer for Resident Evil 7 and the reveal for it at E3, I was extremely iffy about it, too. I was extremely hesitant about it, and I was really, really half and half, and my doubts were already getting thrown to the table. I was already throwing my doubts to the table. And, um, but you know what? As soon as I heard the free demo being released on that same night, I was like, oh, wow, that, that's cool. That's cool, at least. And I'm like, you know what? Before I jump to any conclusions, before I begin to pass judgment onto this game, I'll give it a chance. I will give the game a chance. So, uh, download the demo on my PS4, played it, and I gotta say, absolutely loved it. Absolutely loved what I was playing. Um, well, before, before, before I continue any further, um... The demo itself, it's been it's been uh, heard that the demo itself is not going to be a part of the of the actual game. The demo, um, it's not going to be part of the main story. You're not the the character that you are playing in the demo. If you guys have yet to play the demo, uh, he's not really he's not the main antagonist. I mean, uh, protagonist. My apologies. Uh, he, he's not going to be the character you're playing. You're just playing a different character. I guess this, in a way, this is pretty much a prologue or a prequel to the actual game itself. But also, this is also a way to to give to give players a taste of what re, what what to expect Resident Evil Seven to be. Um, so so yeah, and I, and I gotta admit. I was I, I I got I was legit scared. <laughs> it legit frightened me. It, it really it really brought me back to that to that old school horror to those old school roots of Resident Evil where 
it's just you by yourself no partner system no shitty ai just you by yourself alone in a creepy ass house um just just you alone by yourself and y you got nothing you got nothing to defend yourself with things are scarce and you know it just brings back that feeling of vulnerability as it is as it was meant to be like in the old games because that's how it was exactly um you know and, and it, it did it did that and it, and it did and it did really well doing just that and i gotta say um the demo too is also something you have to play multiple times because i heard that uh the more you play or the more different things you do there are also different outcomes that happen throughout the demo as well um it's it's crazy and also that that's really creative and um yeah i gotta i gotta say um but i played the demo i loved it it's it's really really good really cryptic there are some hidden messages here and there in the game that you gotta find um such as um like finding a picture of a, of a helicopter um which has the umbrella logo what could that mean what is this are there tie-ins to this game as well or is it a completely separate thing or what's going on here you know it, it makes it makes you you know gives you that little taste and it makes you crave for more and i gotta say it is it has done its job doing that and um and i'll be honest um the way it is in the first person it like i said not the biggest first person fan in the world but i gotta say it it, it, it adds more to the horror it really really does well i mean you know some people may still not like it. Like Pandemare, she said she wants, she likes to know what her characters look like. She likes to know um, who she is, who who she is that she is playing, and you know she's a weirdo like that. <laughs> I'm sorry, Pandemare, I love you, but uh, yeah, I can see what she's going. But I don't know. Like I said, you got cutscenes. Maybe they'll have mirrors in the game where you can see what your character looks like. I don't know, but. Yeah, you know, I, I really think the first person, if done right, and it looks like it's been done right from what I've seen when I played the demo, um, how it adds to that horror element. And um, and yeah, you know, so that's why I think, that's why now I am 100% on board with this and I am pre-ordering this thing straight away. And I gotta say too, um, you know, this is, this is, this is the same thing this is this isn't the first time this happened before either with resident evil or people were kind of jumping the gun on things and people were having ish you know were passing judgment to it or criticizing it for 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 changes or for being different uh or for being something new um like for example uh let's go back in time the original resident evil games like resident evil zero one Two, three, and even Code Veronica, those were played in the original uh, Resident, the original traditional Resident Evil style, where it's you know the camera angles and uh, the artistic-looking environments and the uh, and the uh, you know the journals and the puzzle solving and the gameplay. You know, if you guys know what I mean, especially if you're for all you longtime Resident Evil fans out there, um, that's how Resident Evil was. That's what you know it originally uh was and then a few years later uh at around 2004 2005 came a game called resident evil 4 which was not like that at all whatsoever because capcom did something new that was during that time when it was like you know a new a new era for gaming a new generation brand new consoles uh, everything was advanced, everything was changing, and so was the gameplay for Resident Evil. And of course when Resident Evil 4 came out, I was I was iffy about it too. I was judgmental about it too, and so were a lot of other people. They're like, oh, I don't like this game, oh, this game sucks, oh, I don't think it's going to be good because there's no zombies, there's no this, there's no that. Where are the zombies? Zombies, zombies, zombies. Where are the, where, where are the tie, where are the liquors? Where, where are all the other... 
uh, good old good old Resident Evil stuff that we all know and loved, and that scared the bejesus out of us. And after that, after Resident Evil 4 ships, uh, when I'm, you know, after that ship sailed, Resident Evil 4 became one of the greatest games, and not just Resident Evil's franchise, but of all time. <laughs> People, after playing it, began to love the game. It was it was so fun. It was so different, you know, because it was the over-the-shoulder third-person shooter. Of course, people were hesitant about it, but after people played it and played it and played it, people began to love it, and that pretty much was what set the standard now for the modern Resident Evil games, uh, for what they were, and as well as, you know, that's how... Uh, Resident Evil games were from now on, such as 5 and the Revelations titles, and uh, so on and so forth. Well, except for other titles like uh, uh, the recently released Umbrella Core. That, that was, that's, that, that game's a mess. <laughs> I only say that because I believe the other day uh, on Game Strikers, our Facebook page, Sega Sean, I believe, was the one that posted it because um, they were talking about how Resident Evil Umbrella Core was doing and that um, so far, only regularly in its online, since it's a heavily based online shooter, um, there's only an average of like 500 people that play online, uh, that only play this game online. And I'm like, ooh. Well, that's to be expected. I knew that was going to be crap to begin with. So, yeah, that ship sailed. Uh, but anyway, you know, like like I said, long story short, seven to me, it's just gonna be a repeat of of what happened to four and how people felt about four, and what the outcome was in the end for Resident Evil Four, um, because you know people didn't really want to accept that change. People didn't really want to accept that you know the new gameplay or the new style. And um, but in the end, it's it's just it's just you know, good old Resident Evil. It's just you know. Uh, it's just a new, a new, a new style, a new, new gameplay for a new gaming era, because things are changing, and they, you know, and the things are changing, the players are changing, the formats changing, and uh, you know, and at least it brought back to its res to its horror roots, and I think as soon as people give Seven a chance, they'll love it. Maybe they'll love it. It'll, you know, it's it's the new Resident Evil for the new modern era. Like, um, the old school Resident Evil, the originals, those were, you know, the old school era, the original era, then from 4 all the way to, like, what, Revelations 2, that was pretty much, you know, the middle era, now this is the new era, the new era for Resident Evil, um, which I guess, uh, it might be first, it, who knows, maybe this might be the only one that's first person, who knows, who knows, because there's still a lot of, uh, other Resident Evil titles that are still in the works, that are still coming out, like, we're still expecting our Resident Evil 2 remake, as well as, who knows, possibly, rumor has it that a Revelations 3, uh, might be in the works as well, because, which I hope, because Resident Evil Revelations is such a, um, has been such a good series, you know, uh, it's, it's been doing really good, I think people love it, and they should really continue on that as well. And, Another thing, too, um, uh, that people say is that the game confuses them. Resident Evil 7, the how it was, confuses them. Um, meaning that, you know, like, uh, like even what Param Pandamere said, how is this connected to the other games? Where's Leon? Where's Chris? Where's Jill? And I gotta say, like I said, first, who knows? Maybe they might show up in the game, maybe they won't, because, like I said, the demo itself is not actually the game itself. That's not going to be part of the complete game. It's just a demonstration of how the game is, so who knows? Maybe a returning character, um, or even our, our already beloved characters uh, might, might show up in this game, maybe they won't. Maybe it'll be brand new characters set up in a brand new place and at a brand new time who knows and i honestly wouldn't mind that because i know some people you know wouldn't really like that either but i think i, I don't know I, I think because this isn't the first time 
that this has happened for a video game series where a new sequel comes out or a new installment uh, to to a to a game uh, franchise where in the sequel the story takes place the story is completely different it, it's it's its own standalone thing it's not a continuation of of past titles or past sequels um and it still works it still works because and this isn't the first time that resident evil hasn't done it either because when you think of the spin-off titles like resident evil they've done resident evil survivor and resident evil dead aim where it's different characters take place in a different area and and and, and yeah it had their own stories even though those games weren't as successful um there was also resident evil outbreak which i believe was one of their most successful spin-off titles um which came out way back in 2003 for ps2 it was the first game where resident evil went online and um in the story mode, it takes pl it has a connection to the actual titles, where the game um, or the series takes place in Raccoon City when shit hit the fan with the viral outbreak and the T virus and whatnot. But you play as you, you, your choice of eight different characters who come from different walks of life, different occupations, different ages, um, and they all have to you know ordinary raccoon ev ordinary everyday Raccoon City citizens who all have to work together because they all have a common goal, which is to survive. <laughs> and you got to do everything you can. You got to do everything, you know, you got to do everything you can to survive. And, uh, but yeah, that's, that, that's a whole, that was a whole separate story, separate from other main title characters, such as Leon, Chris, Claire, Jill. But to me, it was still just as good. And also as well, as what happened at E3 during Sony's presentation, there was the subject that came up with VR gaming with the virtual reality headset. And apparently, um, it was shown that you're able to play Resident Evil 7 using this uh, VR headset. And of course, when I, you know, when Sega Sean and I talked about it, um, Sega Sean asked me, hey, Lou, how do you think, how do you feel about it being only VR? And I'm like, wait, what? And he's like, you're still going to get the game, and apparently it's VR only. But just to clear things up, I've heard from others and all over who tried, you know, to clear everyone's heads about it uh, from Mass Panic. Resident Evil 7 is VR optional. You know, you can play the game either by itself, or, you know, add the gimmick of virtual reality, where I'm sure some other, you know, Resident Evil 7 is just one of the starting titles, as well as other titles along the way, such as Batman, that is going to be VR compatible. Um, but like I said, that is only an option. That is not a requirement, because that would be kind of ridiculous, like Sega Sean said. Okay, for those of people who still don't have a PS4 and they want the game... Um, you gotta pay $500 for a PS4, uh, $400 for the VR helmet, Resident Evil 7, you gotta pay $60 for that, because that's the standard price for a new game, all that is, that's even before taxes, so in the end, you, you're, <laughs> you gotta pay a thousand, over a thousand dollars, just to play Resident Evil 7, or just to get your hands on it, which is really ridiculous that's fucking ridiculous i <laughs> if that happened if that actually happened where resident evil 7 was only vr only fuck that fuck that bullshit i would not do that <laughs> fucking thousand uh, jacking me a thousand dollars just to play just to do that shit hell no that's why they said no everybody calm the fuck down this is a vr optional only and I was like, oh, thank God in heaven. So, so yeah. And, um, so, yeah, since that is out of the way. Oh, man. You know what? Um, I was one of those people who, you know, since I'm giving seven a chance, since I'm giving seven a chance, you know what? I, I'm going to give six a chance <laughs> as well. I'll be honest, as a longtime Resident Evil fan, uh, being a fan of the franchise, I have not played 6. I played a little bit of it, but then I couldn't stand it because I was so disgusted by it. I thought it was the worst fucking thing in the world, and 
I never touched it. I never wanted to touch the damn thing again. But you know what? I am I, I am honestly going to give Six a chance. I am honestly going to play it. Uh, all the stories straight through. Because I'm like, okay, since I'm giving Seven a chance, I should give Six a chance as well. You know, and also... <laughs> Like I said during our uh, Sonic the Hedgehog uh, special podcast uh, for Sega Sean, uh, the 20th anniversary podcast. But if you guys haven't checked it out, please check that out as well. Um, you know, <laughs> it is a moral obligation for Sega Sean as a Sonic fan to see the Sonic the Hedgehog movie. Uh, just because he <laughs> he has that feeling that he has to so you know what i'll do i'll do the same as a moral as a, as a long time resident evil fan it is my moral obligation to have to try to play and try out resident evil 6 and then i'll give my full opinion at the end because who knows you know it might be an action game but who knows you know the more the more i the more i delve into it maybe i'll fucking love it at the end of the game but who knows maybe i'll fucking hate it even more i i will give the game uh I will give the game a chance, so, <laughs> uh, I'll give the game the benefit of the doubt, I don't know, but, uh, we'll see, maybe I'll give a little reaction video later on saying, alright, I, I played it, yeah, <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, some of my final thoughts, Resident Evil 7, in my opinion, if you're a longtime fan like me, to all you longtime fans out there, Give it a chance. You know, go out there, give it a chance. Like I said, back to Resident Evil 4, it might end up being the same thing as that. It might, you know, it, it could be just like uh, what happened with that. And people had their doubts about it, but in the end became one of the greatest fucking things ever. You know, so, um, so just save your judgments when you play the game. Or if you guys are just as curious or haven't yet please check out the demo like I did. Um, so, so yeah, by, by all means. And, uh, and, um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to give it a chance. We're going to have to wait it out for like almost another year, but, uh, who knows? Maybe it might be a brand new story, which would be great. Maybe it'll be a tie in or have a connection to the other stories, which would be just as great. Maybe we'll have some returning antagonists because I just saw all the clues and stuff and all, you know, what the monsters look like. I don't know. Maybe a returning antagonist might come back. Maybe Lisa Trevor. I just, when I when I heard the lyrics of Go Tell Aunt Rhodey, the lyrics sound an awful lot like uh, Lisa Trevor, who is the monster in Resident Evil Remake's uh, situation. Maybe it might be her. Maybe she survived the mansion blast, but who knows? Who knows? <laughs> I hope not, but... Uh, yeah, for you guys who don't know who Lisa Trevor is, she was in Resident Evil Remake, which came out first on the GameCube, but then has been uh, ported to almost every single fucking game system out there. So, so if you guys haven't played it, check it out, because the game is awesome! And... Um, Maybe it's Alex Wesker from Wesker's sister from Revelations 2. Maybe she's back for another round. Who knows? And uh, like I said, or maybe they'll even bring back a, a fan favorite character for this game. Or even uh, an old character that hasn't been seen in forever. Maybe Rebecca. Maybe Carlos. I probably doubt it. But who knows? Who knows? You know, who knows what the future holds for this game and for what for Resident Evil. But... I'll be honest, bottom line is, after watching the trailer, I loved what I saw, it it really intrigued me, and I am super hyped for it, and I'm, I am just so happy and glad that they brought it back to its original survival horror roots. It brought it back to that genre. <sighs> but other than that, you know, guys, don't be shy to express how you feel or what you think of Resident Evil 7 or your first impressions are for this game in the comment sections below. Uh, but other than that, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Super Game Strikers, as well as like us on Game Strikers on Facebook. And as an added bonus, um, be sure to guy, be sure that you guys like and subscribe to our other channel, Super Game Strikers Let's Plays, starring my co-host Sega Sean 
and longtime friend Retro Nick. So we got Let's Plays, <laughs> and uh, these guys have rebranded and uh, Sega Sean Retro Nick. They got a whole lot of fun and good stuff in store just for you guys. So uh, please check them out as well, as well as some of our other videos uh, right here as well, and as well as other future videos and future content from the Super Game Strikers and Super Game Strikers Let's Plays. But other than that, I am Kaiju Lu. Stay tuned uh, and take care, guys. And uh, go tell Aunt Rhodey. Go tell your aunts and uncles. Uh, grandpa, grandmas, dogs, cats. <laughs> about Resident Evil 7. Set to be released in January of 2017. Ah, oh, shit. Donald Trump's gonna, Trump's gonna be president by then, isn't he?